another beautiful twilly that just came out but let me know guys do i need to buy that because that twilly is so adorable and he has little like cutie feet and a little scrunchy necklace if it's gonna be really hard next year i just just this just this last one you know so hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess if you love shopping and handbag videos I would super appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 8,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for those who have subscribed, the, like, I guess at any stage, but the past, like, few days, I've noticed I've been getting more subscribers. So thank you so much for your support. I, if you watched my last video, guys, you would have seen that I kind of had a little bit of a confession. I failed my shopping ban again. And to be honest, guys, I bought this item before I bought my Pegasus charm, which um, was also an epic fail. So I recently bought this Pegasus charm because I messaged my sales associate and they had it, which was pretty crazy for like this exact combination. I thought it was fate that I had to buy it. Probably, I'd say a few days prior, I was feeling very itchy to spend, but I had said no to so many things. Like there's so many Black Friday sales at the moment this Hello Kitty furler bag I really wanted to buy, but I said no to. Um, even this like Hermes cosmetics case I've been wanting to buy for a while, but I've been resisting it. Just a lot of things I'm constantly resisting. Everyone is buying stuff at the moment, and I, I, I don't know, like, I guess I really want to not shop because that is my goal to spend less. And next year, I really just want to buy... I'm going to try and only buy like under three bags. Hopefully I can stick to two. Because, you know, the past few years, um, I've been buying a lot of bags, like over 10 a year, probably more, to be honest. So I really want to try and be more mindful with my shopping. I had a bit of a weak moment the other day because uh, Vestia Collective kept sending me these notifications on this particular bag. And it was like $4,000 Australian reduced to it was like 4,000 reduced to 3,200 and then it got reduced to like 3,000 and then it got reduced to like 2,800 or something and I was just like man this is just really diving and the seller was actually in Australia so this is on Vestier Collective and I asked the seller if they could do the direct shipping option because if you send it to Hong Kong, because usually you have to send it to Hong Kong and then they authenticate it and then give it a tick of approval and send it to the customer. But I thought I'd be risky and just ask them to send it to me and then I can authenticate it. Because the thing is, if you send it to Hong Kong, like outside of Australia, you have to pay taxes and extra shipping. But they said that because it's a high value item, they need to go through the, the whole process. So anyways, guys, um, I'm kind of blabbing, but basically I put in an offer for this bag for 2,100 Australian dollars and the seller accepted. And then uh, once it got shipped to like all the other fees, like the shipping and then the, the authentication in Hong Kong and, and all that, with all those extra fees, it came to 2490 Australian dollars for this piece, which I thought was a pretty good deal for an Hermes bag. So yeah, I'm really trying to focus on Hermes uh, from now on. I, I do want to buy a Loewe bag next year, but I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't. And if I'm really only going to buy two bags next year, it's going to be Hermes. And I think there's this fear in me that like next year is going to be a really low buy year. And I kind of had this thought in me like oh maybe I'll just buy one last bag this year like if it's gonna be really hard next year I just 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 this just this last one you know so yeah I put in an offer because I just I couldn't get it out of my head honestly and yes should I have bought it like probably not is it my favorite bag ever like no I just bought it because it was a great deal and well guys let me just show it to you because you're probably like Jess just like just pull it out of the bag so let's have a look so came with a dust bag didn't come with a box I had this double authenticated as well and it is authentic so let's have a look this is the Hermes and also guys you probably don't know what this is just being honest if you do then please let me know more about it because I've been trying to do a lot of research on it and I can't find much information so, and also it's kind of ugly. So this is the Hermes um, Omnibus bag. 
it's pretty cool like okay so guys obviously it's not the cutest bag ever but the reason i bought this is because i actually really like the loewe amazona bag and when i saw this bag on vestiaire and saw it was like an hermes bag i was actually quite intrigued by it i also think it is quite like it's like not too big not too small so this is the uh, omnibus pm and it measures 23 centimeters across now, I think it just looks really big because, like, if you compare it to, like, the look of a Kelly 25, the Kelly 25 goes, like, inwards, which makes it look more petite. But because this is, like, a bit of a cube style, it looks a little bit bigger. Now, the reason why I chose this bag is because it's in one of my favorite leathers, which is Clement's leather. And it's just this beautiful, like, squidgy leather. I just think it is just the best it's very similar to my Picotin. So my Picotin is also in Clemence. And I just knew that I wanted a bag in Clemence again. And I just thought for 2490 Australian dollars, like, how can I say no, guys? Like, it's just such a good deal for an Hermes bag. So I went for it. And <laughs> yes, I was very naughty. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely like, I can see why it wasn't a popular bag. So let me tell you more about this bag, guys, because I had to do my research. But I think that this, well, this particular bag, I think, uh, came out in around 2006 to 2007. And this style was a reissue of a style from the 70s. And the original version of this came with a lock and a key, and it had a clochette as well. And apparently it was priced um, pretty high back in the day and even I think um in the boutique back in 2007 this version was around 7,000 US dollars so it wasn't a cheap bag but the reason why they discontinued it I guess is because it wasn't that popular and yeah it just um, it just wasn't that popular but it actually has a lot of beautiful features to it so it has these like cute little feet at the bottom um it has okay I'm going to take some of the twillies off so I can show you that detail in the handles um but it has this gorgeous zip as well and I've noticed that um Hermes they changed the manufacturer of their zips um from like different years so I noticed that my vintage Kelly has an Eclair zip, but this zip is actually from a brand called Riri, and I noticed that like there was some marking saying Riri under the zipper pool. So I think that uh, yeah, they they used Riri as the manufacturer for the zipper, and this zipper guys is just it is a great zipper. Like this is this feels like a real quality bag. I just the leather, the details, all the like really beautiful stitching around here as well. Um, as you can see, it has a little, uh, little H logo there. Very subtle branding. Um, it has a Hermes marking in, in, on the inside as well. So when you open it up, let me show you guys the inside. Um, it's a full leather bag. So the inside is actually lined, um, I think it might be lined in Chev leather. It looks like Chev. And then it has the Hermes Paris here. It has a pocket. Um, so this is like... It is a beautiful fully lined leather bag, which I'm sure that like if something like this was in Hermes now, it would be well over ten thousand Australian dollars. I just feel like like for the price, like for what you're getting, I just felt like this was like such a good deal. However, I can see why it was sitting on Vestiaire for a while because like I guess orange is not everyone's favorite color, and this is actually in um I actually don't know what the color is called. I was trying to do some more research, but it's definitely not like the faux color, which I think is like the, cla this is like more of the classic orange color, which is more of the pop orange, like orange poppy or uh, faux. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this is a little bit more of like a muted orange, a bit more of a brown orange, which to be honest, I think I would have preferred like a brighter orange, like a pop color, but you know, uh, this bag, from what I've seen on Google, also came in, like, blue jean. I think there was, like, a brighter orange version as well. I Potentially, yeah, I think it was black. Um, I've seen more vintage versions in canvas and, uh, like, white. There's a lot of different variations. And if you look on the pre-love market, the, the pricing for these is quite random. Like, sometimes it's quite expensive and sometimes it's, like, $2,000. So... I think this is a bag no one really talks about. Uh, maybe they used to, but yeah, I definitely haven't found any YouTube videos on it. So to be honest, I 
bought this bag because I thought it would look adorable with a bag charm, which I know might be a stupid reason to buy a bag, but I have so many Twillies and bag charms, I just saw a lot of potential in this bag, and I thought, you know, this is going to fit so much, and it's going to be such a great daily little tote. And yeah, it just fits at the crook of my arm really well. Um, it didn't come with a strap. I'm not sure if it's designed to have a strap, uh, but let me just take the twillies off to show you guys the details. Okay, so firstly guys, if you're wondering, the twilly I had on it is one of my favorite twillies. Um, and this you can still buy, I think, uh, on the Hermes website. I've seen it in orange, and I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm tempted to buy the orange one as well to match this bag. Oh, and there's also another beautiful Twilly that just came out. I'll put a picture on, on, on the screen, but let me know, guys. Do I need to buy that? Because that Twilly is so adorable, and I think it would go so well with the orange. So let me show you the details of the handle. So they're very thin handles, very different from like the Kelly and the Birkin, and they're super like flexible and they have the ability to like bend back and bend forward because you can see that on the ring, it just, they're a little bit more flexible. It's kind of like similar to like the her bag and the Kelly like does do that as well. But I find that the handle on the Kelly is like very structured, whereas this one, it's like bendy. So yeah, it's a bit of a softer handle. And yeah, as you can see, there's some metal rings here. Um, it's just beautifully finished at the top. i uh, just show you guys the zipper details. And yeah, that's the bag plain. But I think it looks absolutely incredible with this petite H charm, especially because I, I think this is actually the same leather, the Clemence. Um, and then this side has Chev. So you can see the difference in the grains. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. I just think that this um, echidna goes so well in the bag, but I did try out a few other twilly and charm combinations, which I'll put on the screen. So let me know, guys, like what twilly combination do you like the best and what charm combination? Because I'm not too sure. I feel like it being plain is rather boring, but maybe it looks very good plain as well. I'm just not sure. Maybe I'm thinking even it needs no twilly and just a charm because I think that this just makes it so much more hilarious. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys what fits in this bag because we just got to see. So firstly, guys, if you have a little friend that you want to take around with you, um, it does fit a little uh, bunny rabbit. Um, I just bought this uh, today, to be honest, because I was kind of feeling sad and spendy as usual so I bought this little bunny but is this not like the cutest soft toy you've ever seen because when I saw it I just felt like I was gonna cry how cute it was and he has a little like cutie feet and a little scrunchy necklace um, so this bunny apparently is called Kiddo um, he came with a little tag uh, yes yeah, so this is Kiddo uh, say hi um, and it fits in this omnibus bag I'm not sure how many My Little Ponies will fit in here, but I'm sure it will also be quite a lot. It can also fit like a micro bag in here, like a coin purse. This one is from Longchamp, and I wear this sometimes crossbody if I only have to carry like AirPods or something. Uh, but a very handy little piece and very good gift idea, I think. I've also got in some uh, Versace shades. Uh, these are some of my favorite sunnies. And um, it's really good if you know you have a pimple, you just want to cover up your face. Like today I have a pimple. Um, so this just makes you look cool. Uh, so that's that. And then I also have a Kelvy card holder, which is my daily go-to, uh, which I wear all the time. And, oh, I use all the time. And then I also have in here a Chanel um, bag with my makeup in it, just random, and also have my Louis Vuitton key clay, and it still has plenty of room left. Um, now, without the stuff, it is quite squished, but perhaps it's because the original owner didn't store it properly, so um, I would, uh, when storing these bags, keep it, like, stuffed so it keeps that beautiful shape, but yeah, because it, it's kind of, like, beautifully finished and everything, like, I just feel like it's a beautiful bag, and honestly, it has like some minor, like on the, it just has like a minor scuff um, here. There's a little bit of a scuff, like they knocked it. But other than that, it looks incredible. And yeah, this is just my new random Hermes bag. Um, definitely in a bit of a random color as well. I'll just show you guys this color compared to my Kelly. So this Kelly bag is in the color natural. And then, I don't know what this colour is, guys. Let me know. All you Hermes experts, what colour do you think this is? Um, because I just can't work it out. 
but it's a little bit more of an orange shade compared to like something that's more of a brown tone but it's not quite like a super bright orange either with the black twilly it actually looks quite good like a little bit more like rock and roll cool girl uh, but if you want to make it more lively like really make the color pop i would like wear it with like a bright twilly so probably like the one on the Hermes website that i'm looking at i think would look incredible with this bag but again guys i have so many twillies i probably don't need it but yeah you know me guys like i just feel like every time i buy something i need to buy extra stuff to go with the thing so that's how i feel and yeah this is the a new bag that i bought so hopefully this is the last one for this year because i really didn't think i'd buy another one this year i actually that's why i did my whole hermes collection because i thought that i was definitely done for a while but vestiaire collective uh teased me and i just caved so yeah that's my latest bag uh let me know honestly guys what you think i know not everyone would love this bag probably most people will think it looks kind of ugly um but i think this is a super useful style um the leather is incredible and i think the price for a designer bag was rather good thanks for watching my video today uh please like and subscribe if you um enjoy my channel and i'll talk to you on my next one bye